Hey everybody! Hello! So today you are in for something new because I have about a million toys in this box that I'm going to review with all of you. <laughs> so thank you so much sweet sweet it was awesome thank you so much toy insider the event was great and now i have all these cute toys to show you guys in this giant giant swag box they sent me so the first item is moosh moosh patty as we can see this little panda is a unicorn super cute super soft it's like a little bean if i had to describe this like no no back legs or anything so it's kind of weird but <laughs> Super soft, super squishy, and really, really cute. I kind of like it. the eyes is what sucks me in. So, cute product there. Thank you so much, Moosh Moosh, for sending me that. Oh, I'm excited for this one. So, this is by MGA, and it's Pop Pop Hair Surprise. So, I see a little brush on this. I'm, I'm going to probably do this in a video because I, A, have been super into all the MGA stuff recently, and I'm, I'm interested to see this. Like, this is definitely giving me, like, La Loopsy vibes, kind of. So, hmm. Ooh, now I saw this on a toy hunt. This is Littlest Pet Shop Lucky Pets. Uh, open up inside, you get a pet, you get a little message. Hmm. I'm probably going to be doing a favorites video from everything that I saw at Sweet Sweet that I liked coming up later in the month. Maybe this might make that list. Oh, Polly Pocket. So still going with the Polly Pocket. Obviously, they relaunched last August, was it? I can't believe it's been that long. This one's really cute, though, because it has, like, a little moon. I love the little one in the onesie. And look at the little toilet. Adorable. Now, there's tons and tons of games. So we have everything from here from Ooh Bongo, which I've never seen. Over 5 million games sold, though. And it's by Cosmos. Really interesting. So it's like a fun little puzzle game. My mom's into all this stuff. Like, when she saw this in the box, she was like, oh, this is cool. I need to play this. I was like, all right, I guess this is my mom's gift for sure. That'd be fun. We should do a video like, mom plays all these weird puzzle games for hours and hours and hours. <laughs> and this is the original Rocks game. Literally, they're rocks. How weird is that? And this is by MGA? Huh, I didn't know they do games too. It says, roll, toss, scoop, win. Hmm. Hmm. Are you guys familiar with this game or with this one? Let me know. Now we've got three up, three, oh, three. I was trying to read that and I'm so silly. Oh, hello, hello, it says three up. Hmm, it looks almost like let's play another round, two to six, or was it two to six players, 10 minutes to play? Oh, it's a really quick game. It looks almost like Uno, but I don't think it's Uno though. That's kind of weird. Hmm, fun, something different. This one says, boom goes the dynamite, another game. Two to six players, three minutes to learn, done. You're winning me with this all the way. And these are both by OK to Win. Uh, I'm so excited for this. I saw this, obviously, at Sweet Sweet. Uh, it's by the Beverly Hills Teddy Bear Company. And inside's a surprise little, like, crib with a little baby in it. And it's called Tiny Tun Tunkin Tunkins. Ooh, it comes with a crib, mystery plush, removable diaper, blanket, and two play accessories. And you can get different ones on the outside. Oh, they're so cute. Little bunny. Oh, I love the mouse, too. They're so sweet. Um, Adorable ice cream prop. Loving this. Let's see who this is by. Sunny Days. And inside's an ice cream. Oh, it's an ice cream that turns into a little plushie inside. And I love the little, like, sticker decor it's got going on here where they look like tiny, tiny little animals that is so cute and these are called let's see if you can find a name here sweet sweet tears sweet tears and you can get everything from like cats and ki oh pretty much all cats oh they're all cats oh they're all cats right oh, that's so cute oh that's adorable more games we got uno flip we gotta have that uno we know it <laughs> classic game but this one is new though oh you flip oh you can flip the card and then you flip the whole entire deck and you get something different. Okay, that's kind of cool. I feel like I would get confused, though, by, like, I would just intermix all of them and not... I wonder if, like, you can flip each... Because it looks like, obviously, you can flip the deck, but can you intermix the both flippings, like, the different colors and stuff? Hmm, I'd have to take this out. This is really cool. Um, by Mattel Games. And it's for 8 to 7 up. Uh, hello, classic. Not so classic. We're so used to seeing the Rubik's Cube in this, like... Obviously, like, 9 by 9 square, but look how skinny this is. That is so strange. I wonder if this is easier. It says for ages 6 and up, but then again, I've seen, like, 2-year-olds do the regular Rubik's Cube in, like, a minute, and I'm over here for, like, years. So, 
interesting stuff and this is by Hasbro Gaming. This is like so perfect, so doll sized. So Raider Flyer obviously has been around forever in the toy world and they are doing new things. I went on their website, they're even doing a Tesla. Like they have a full size, like well, not full size, but like a Tesla, <laughs> a kid sized Tesla car and it's so neat. But they gave us these tiny little flyers though and this is so perfect for doll size. So I'm loving it and excited. And this is their W1, so I guess it's like their first model. How cute is this? It says a perfect desk accessory to put your cards in. Um, my dolls are gonna pull their toys around with this. Those of you know, I am a planner person. And these are felt tip pens by Crayola and they're washable and they're vivid colors, bold lines. I'm gonna definitely be trying this. It says for planning and journaling. Oh my gosh, they, they know me. They know me. Ooh, look at this slime. This is fun. Okay, Extreme Glitters. And it sparkles, it's slimy, and it's by Orb. Oh, I just love the way this looks. I've actually seen this at Walmart, so this will be fun to like, oh, and it's resealable too. That's neat. I'm kind of excited to take it out and just like, oh, look at that glitter. Oh, that is so cute and so pretty. Look at what I got now. Drift Solo Mold. Mode? Mode? Solo Mode? <laughs> Hashtag wall up IRL it says and it's the build it it's for building oh so it comes with a piece of building material so I'm assuming you can get all of them and then build a larger piece. Hmm, interesting. And this is by Jazzwares. This game is just so popular. I see everybody playing it. I'm so out of the loop. <laughs> but it's a really intricate piece though. Looks neat. Uh, more things that I need to catch up on. So Rainbow, Rainbow Butterfly Unicorn Kitty. Hello, four things, super cute. Make it all into one. Here we go. So they have a ton of different toys. This is the Power Tail Felicity. So she's got a cute little tail on the end. There's different ones, it looks like, that you can do. Yeah, because we got the Power Tail. There's also Power Unicorn. I like Rock and Roll Macau. It's so funny. These are really, really neat. I know it's a popular show and stuff. I need, like I said, I need to catch up on it. I need to catch up. And these are by Funrise Toys. Uh, obviously, you know, my house is a Squishmallow house. And this is the cute little kitty keychain. And they're honestly always coming out with so many new ones. I know they're doing jungle ones now. Uh, this one's Karina. But yeah, definitely check out their social media. I, I love Squishmallows so much. Like when I say that, I literally sleep with one every night. Like it's so comfortable. And they make keychains, but they go all the way up now to two feet. Literally two feet tall. I need a two foot tall sloth in my life for sure. <laughs> I love Squishmallows. Yes. They're just pumping out some games this year. We got Stink Bug, the bug out card game for ages four and up, 15 to 25 minutes. Okay, it's a good average play time. Let's see, look inside. Oh, we got little bugs. It can help your child practice color, shape recognition, taking turns, memory skills, matching. So it's like a match game thing. I actually really liked those growing up, which I know were super boring to some people, but like, I had fun with those. I liked card matching games, but this is really cute. I want, I want, I definitely want to take it out. Let's see. Score for pairs. Yep, pretty much a matching game. Um, that one's my vote. <laughs> oh, this is kind of cool. Tiny pieces, big build. Seven hundred pieces. This is the Fantasy Friends, and you can. Those are actually really big. So I wonder. Oh, you put them together. Oh, that and you. I was seeing. Remember those little pieces? Like they're like little tiny like tubes, and you put them down and iron it, and they would stick together. I wonder if this is something like that. I, I'm interested. I like, I really, really used to love that as a kid. So these are like bigger pieces. I wonder if they stick together. Instead of pixel, it's chick, jizzles, jizzle pixels. <laughs> Interesting name, but it's for ages three and up though. And it's by Fat Brain Toy Company. That's actually, I really like that name. All right, so we have a lot of fluffy things to play with. All right, let's see what we got. So first up we have um, by Crazy Art, Nickelodeon, Pink Slime. Pink, they know my color. Uh, yes, cute. Let's have a million tubs of slime. <laughs> then we have Alexa Molnar, and this is Compound Kings, and it's Fluffy Clouds Berry Cake. So it looks almost like a mixture of like Play-Doh and slime in here. So interesting. And then we have this one, which is Neapolitan. Oh, they gave me a little bit of all the flavors in there. These people were so nice. The people at the Sugar Rush booth. I actually had a conversation with her for like close to an hour like so sweet and this is the cloud sand parfait so it's very like kind of more sand like than play doughy and they all are like cute like ice cream and stuff flavor let's see is it scented i think it is too oh yes it is and it's so squishy yes <laughs> Ooh, pile it up until there's a meltdown so this is my play monster kind of giving me 
me a little bit of like Kerplunk vibes. Do you guys remember Kerplunk? Uh, loved that game. Put pieces on the top until, oh no, it falls. <laughs> and then obviously I think you're, if it falls, then you lose the game. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like a bouncing game. I like this. I'm actually really excited to play this with my family because we, like I said, we used to play Kerplunk a lot as a kid and this gives me those vibes. It's just more of like a modern take on it. Something a little different. A little different. Ooh, Beutology. Oh, I love that. Hello. I love that word. I love that. <laughs> Over 20 custom color combinations create colors that let you be you. And you can make a lip gloss kit. Oh, I can make my own lip gloss. Okay. I like that. And it comes with different pearlized pigments, different containers. Hmm. You know me. I love my beauty stuff. And this is by Rose Art. Oh, it's so funny. So it's like literally like, <laughs> it's used to use them to color on paper. Now you can use them to color on your face. Oh, thank you for the water bottle, Madam Alexander. I'm so glad because I know there was some moments there years ago that we were worried they might go out of business and they're still kicking. They got bought out. They're still making some dolls. Uh, let's see if maybe I'll review some this holiday season. Thank you. Oh, yes. Oh, squish. <laughs> These spiky squishies remind me so 90s. Oh my gosh. So this is by... It says Drop Dots Lovems, and you have different ones. Oh my god, there's a cactus? Oh, that is so funny. <laughs> I love the cactus. And who are you by? Let's see. Uh, Kess, K-E-S-S. -S. And they look really cool, though. I mean, if you're really into, like, squishies, but then you want, like, that 90s, like, prickly vibe of, like, those toys back in the day. I like it. It's, it's a little bit of a faster rise toy. Like, I've noticed, like, if you can see, like, a little faster. But I just like that they make weird things like a cactus. Like, that's so cute. Whoa, I love this. Knuckleheads, head popping racers. Um, it reminds me of Street Sharks. That is so cool. So, yeah, you race them and then they hit each other and their heads pop off. So, we've got Finn and we've got Rex. Let me turn on the back here. Let's see. Yeah, different ones to collect and you can smash them on there. And it's by Skull Dudgery Toys, Crafts, and Fun. They're now available at Target. So if you guys want these, they're available. That's really cute. I like the shark one. Definitely giving me, like I said, vibes of, uh, you know, back in the day. <laughs> oh, look at this little turtle. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Uh, this one's Creatures of the World. Uh, lifelike turtle and he's like a little clip and you can clip him on your little backpack. He's so cute. Oh, he's squishy. Oh, his little feet are gummies. Oh, that feels so weird. Oh, that feels so weird. <laughs> it says, looks alive, feels alive, and he's stretchable. So, oh, oh, that's so strange. But they make different ones. Oh, the tarantula is so cool. Oh, I love the tarantula one. But yeah, we got the little turtle guy. He's so cute. <laughs> and then continuing the animals, we have an exclusive. Oh, and I, you know what? I feel like I can never pronounce this name. I feel so bad. I really do. Because I always say stretch. So, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to even try. Classic brand, though. They make lots of really well-built figures. And this is a horse. And obviously, like, you know, they make other things besides horses. But like I said, they've been around for a really long time. They're just very realistic looking. Mixums, mysteries, it says secrets on there. Is there right? Secrets? Yeah. Uh, so you guess you get, oh, I love that sign. Do you see the glitter? That's like, that reminds me of one of my highlighters, like my highlights for my face, you know, like that, that'd be kind of pretty. Okay, obviously don't put this on your face, but <laughs> looks pretty though. And you have different little mysteries. Oh, do you have like a little alien guy in there or something? Yeah, surprise minifigure. Ooh, I hope I get that little alien dude. He looks so cute. Oh, and you can mix all the other little pieces in there. Okay, I like that you're not just getting slime. You're getting stuff that you can mix into your slime. Made for make-believe. And this is like a very realistic, like when I, I saw it, my dad was like, oh, they sent you like stuff for the kitchen. I was like, no, no, dad, this isn't, this isn't for me. This is like kid stuff. But he's like, but it looks very real. I was like, it is a real thing. But <laughs> you know, trying to explain to my dad that it's not actual real, like, you know, Tupperware and pots and like forks. I mean, it is for play, but... It looks so realistic, and I love the color scheme that it looks very mature. So, like, because there are kids out there that don't want to have the stereotypical, like, pastel or super bright colors. They want things that are real looking, and this is very real looking. And they go with the kitchen set very well, but they make outdoor stuff. The thing I'm really interested in is the dollhouse. They had a new one there that had, like, a loft and, like, a little, um, like, a cafe in there. And I was like, oh, I need that dollhouse. But, yeah, it's by Kid Craft, making really realistic stuff to play with. Are we at the last item? I think we are. And it's by 
Tori, and it says, feel your creativity, power your play. So it's interactive. It definitely goes with the app. So it comes a little, oh, it comes like a little pad and you can draw on it and it works with the pad. That is so neat. And it's by Bandai Namco Entertainment. So look up Tori, you guys. This is really neat. Oh, and look, it has a little car that you can fling. Oh, that's really neat. I love stuff that's like, you know, more than just like playing with an app. It's like something you can tangibly play with as well. A little combination of both. Ooh, I lied. One more thing in there. Look at this. It says Boss Fight Art by Adam Riches. Really, really intricate. This is nice. I love it. It's very interesting. It's very realistic. Really awesome. That's so cool. Thank you. I Boss Fight. Boss Fight? Yeah, Boss Fight Studios. There are so many fun, cool things to play with in this video. Comment below which one was your favorite item out of all this cool stuff. Thank you so much, Toy Insider, and all the brands to make Sweet Sweet possible. And like I said, I will be planning on doing a favorites video for this month. Some of these things might be in it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye!